everyone. It's Henry. And mowers and blowers! <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm at my buddy Andy from Jericho's house again, and we're gonna do, that's right, another Wi-Fi camera. Because I'm on that list, see, of KOLs, known opinion leaders. <laughs> I don't know what any of that stuff means, but it means that people send me free shit so I can do reviews on it. And because I have like nine cameras over at my house already, it's like Fort Knox for goodness sakes. I figured, I told the guy, I go, listen, I appreciate you sending me so many cameras. I appreciate all these other people sending me cameras, right? But I can't put any more cameras in my house. <laughs> so I said, let's put some at his house. <laughs> Yesterday, I received this package from my friends over at Heimvision. As you guys know, I've had uh, several products from Heimvision and they're all fantastic. Uh, I already have a doorbell uh, camera at my house, so I figured I'd give my buddy Andy a nice little doorbell security surveillance camera. It works like a ring or a nest, you know what I mean? But it's hardwired. So, let's open the box. So here we have a Heimvision Greets C1 Smart Video Doorbell 2K Ultra HD. Let's open the box. It's a nice, pretty teal color, but that's the uh, Heimvision um, theme. First thing you get when you open the box, it's a sticker. That's right, not a sticker, a sticker. Actually, out of all the uh, surveillance cameras I've gotten, this is the first time I've seen a sticker. Do I want to stick this sticker in my house? I think not. Little case here with uh, customer service and instruction manual. Get out of here! We don't need instructions! Forget about it! I've done enough of these that I, I know what I'm doing. First thing we see here is this beautiful white finish. Wow. To be honest with you, the one that I have at home is gray and it doesn't really match my white trim around my door. So I'm a little jealous, but I'm not gonna go and take that other one off and put this one on because it's too much freaking trouble, man. Anyway, it's a nice white finish, you know what I'm saying? It has like a film over this lens for shipping I'm just gonna peel it off. I know you're not supposed to peel it off right now until they tell you to peel off, but you know what? I'm a rebel like that! So here's the doorbell. I believe this lights up too. In it has this bracket in the back. Here's the area where you can put in a, U, a min, micro USB as well as a micro USB input for your USB charging or if you wanted to hardwire it that way. These two things here are the negative and positive for the uh, electric hardwire current coming from the door sill frame of your house. We're gonna go and test the um, voltage of his output hardwire from his existing hardwired doorbell in his house, just like the one I had. Uh, I had to use a multimeter and test it to see whether or not it was 110 volts going out or is it regulated from the house electricity to about 15 volts? Because I believe this thing goes uh, between, I wanna say 12 to 15 volts, but I might have to look at the instructions just to be 100% safe. Hmm. So this goes in like that, right? And over here is a curved one. So when you attach this to that, right? This is what it looks like. So that this way, if you have it like that, right, in your door sill, this makes it, makes the camera point to the middle of the door. So that's that. Here is the door chime, right? Where it has the buttons here to make the sound, to change the uh, chime. And this is battery operated. The one I've had before, there's a 12 volt, not a 12 volt, but a, a USB output where you just, plug it into a USB thingamajig, but it's the same thing with batteries. What's great about this is it gives you the batteries. 
How many things have batteries included these days? Not many. So we're gonna put that in here. And let's see what's in this final box over here. In this final box, we have one bag of stuff. In the stuff are small little wires to connect to the back of this, to connect to the hard wiring of your existing hardwired system. Over here, we have a reset button tool, three small Phillips screws, and an three anchors with three more screws to affix this apparatus onto your door sill frame. Lots of stuff. Mini screwdriver, mini Torx Allen key. Hmm. Ooh, they gave me two of these. Scores! And a micro USB cable. So now, what we gotta do is, we gotta try to turn this thing on, see? And then try to mate this with the uh, his phone. So we're gonna download an app, and we're gonna find out what app that so, is. So, just for testing and setting this up with your phone, you first have to connect the USB cable. This is not the one included. This is my own one that's attached to a power source. So I'm just gonna plug it in here, okay? Just to get power so that you can set it up before you hardwire it to your doorbell sill. Andy went and looked all over the place for a micro USB, uh, I'm sorry, a micro SD card, okay? As you can see, it powered up and it's blinking a red light. Now this thing doesn't come with a micro SD card, which is very inconvenient because when people buy it, right, they're gonna be like, oh goody, I get to use it today. Well, what if they don't have an SD card lying around? You know what I mean? You have to go and wait and buy one. So it'd be better if the manufacturers would include one of these things, even a 16 gigabyte or an eight gigabyte, at least something so that the person getting it could use it right away instead of having to wait. I've had manufacturers send me stuff with enclosed micro USB cards. Just advice to the manufacturers, don't make it hard for people to do things. You already gave us uh, free batteries, right? Batteries included. And now you gotta wait and go get an SD card. So anyway, we have one. If you buy one of these things, make sure you have one. So you stick it in here. This is a 32 gig, which is a decent amount of size, because what happens is it records on a loop, right? And it only records when you when it detects motion. That's the only time it ever uh, records on um, the SD card, right? You could set it for 24 hours if you want, but m mostly this is for detection. What are you gonna record? Wind blowing? Grass and leaves flying by? No. You just wanna record it when there's somebody around the area, right? So that's why it's always set on motion detection. By the way, this also is night vision as well, which means infrared. So what you have to do is you have to download the Heim Life app on Google, Android, or the App Store. And that's what Andy's doing to his phone right now. When he gets that app ready, he's gonna uh, start an account using an email and a password of his choosing. And then once we're ready, we're gonna pair this to his app. I'm ready. So here it is. This is the Heim Life app that he downloaded off the um, iOS app store. So here's a button here. This is the first screen you see when you touch the app, the shortcut on your phone. And it says doorbell or battery camera. Obviously this is a doorbell, so we'll press doorbell. Please follow the instruction manual to power of the device. No. Place the camera and phone close to your router for the best signal. Our router is right there. Next, press the bell button and tap next. So after I put batteries in the chime, that makes a chime noise. You could also have different music if you want, which is very annoying. Good God. Okay. Oh, that's a voice thing. Just leave the package and get out of here. There, I just recorded a nice, polite message for the uh, <laughs> person that rings the doorbell if you want to choose to use the message thing, all right? Uh, so we did that. We press next again, and here we go. It's asking me to reset it. 
You guys still there? Okay. Okay, so there's a reset button right there. Of course, I can barely... Okay, let's listen. Press it for about three seconds or so, then let go. Then it should make a noise or say that it's resetting. Use the supplied reset pen, reset device, wait for the LE indicator to, to flash red, which it is, tap next. Okay, here it's gonna ask us for the Wi-Fi information, which my buddy Andy will enter his information. Okay, so he just uh, put in his Wi-Fi information, then the next screen was this. So it's gonna flash a QR code when I press next. There's the QR code, right? Watch this. There you go. It just grabbed that information. Next. Connecting. Please wait a moment. So we're going to wait for this to connect. It's now pairing itself. We'll see how long it takes. Okay. So it found our device. That's it right there. We can... We can modify this and type uh, doorbell. Okay, we're done. Hey, you saw that? Yeah, yeah. There we go, look. Holy cow, see that. So there's a two-way intercom. I'm too close to it, so it's going to be really loud. But you guys get the picture, right? Holy cow. No, we're too close into the vicinity. Yeah. All together. Hello? Hi, this is UPS. Get out. You have a package. Get out. I have guns. So here we go. I wanted to show you this thing. So this is live right now. If you press that button right there, right, you can have this part here. So there you go. I'm holding the camera, pointing it at myself. We're live right now, right? I want to show you something here. You press that little edit area, right? And you'll see door. And this is kind of important because this will prevent uh, a lot of unnecessary motion detection, right? So here's your motion detection area. You can do low sensitivity, medium, or high sensitivity, right? The alarm interval in minutes. The alert will be triggered only when human motion is detected. And here's your alarm area. So look, let's say I wanted to, let's say your street is over here and cars are driving by. Well, every time a car drives by, you're gonna get motion detection. If your lawn is over here, you will only select the lawn area, you know, in, in your screen, so that it only detects this area of movement. So that way if cars are moving by around here, it won't go off. It won't give you like a thousand uh, different um, notifications. You can press the erase button to erase the areas that you don't want. So you guys can play with that when you, uh, Get it. Now we're going to go and install this outdoors and remove his existing, um, we're going to go remove his existing hardwired doorbell and check the voltage to see if it's compatible with this system. Hmm. Get it. Oh, I know what I have to do. I have to, uh... It's got a little bit of silicone yeah. on there. Here we go. And now we have the voltage. It should be between 12 and 24. 17.7. 17. Perfect. Well, my other one was 15, but 17 is good as long as it's under 24. Um, they're both the same. No, this is going to be top this is going to be bottom correct now that we've secured the bottom plate this is the curved right, one no, where but I mean, this, this is the lock so right the so that goes, goes on the bottom. bottom okay so the second part goes over here right remember not to touch these two wires together right we're going to secure that on we connected the two hard wires to the two screws in the back of this it was very short but we were able to get it in there now you can see that the power has taken this from red to now blue blue means it's now ready on the very bottom here 
there's a security screw that's torque shaped. So we're going to stick that in there because, well, this thing will just come off. And here we're using the uh, attached Torx Allen, well, tool, whatever, and uh, putting in the security screw. It's Torx because not everybody has a Torx sitting around. So it acts like a security key so that you won't be able to take this off. So this is now flush, clean, and ready to go. Right, Boba? So we've got the chime sitting over here. This is the door area right here. Hey, uh, Lucas, sorry. <laughs> All right, go ahead, press it. Awesome. And simultaneously, it comes in. And now my you're phone. getting the alarm messages, right? right? So let's see what it looks like. Okay. So Andy's door is actually in the way here. So he's gonna have to do some adapting later. But for purposes of this video, this is how it looks. There, and there we are standing right there. So this thing works great. It's all set. So that's it. This is the Heimvision doorbell. And yes, he's gotta do something with uh, clearing about a millimeter of this trim. I think he's just gonna dremel a little bit here just to clear it so that it can close all the way. But it looks really clean, white, and it stays on there very nicely, and it works as it should. It's fantastic to have for your house, you know, honestly. Uh, remember, the micro SD card records only when there's motion, right? So if a robber or a thief or a vandal were to want to do something to your house or steal something right if he was smart he would just rip this whole thing off take it with him and that way we wouldn't they wouldn't uh the homeowner wouldn't have any evidence so that's why they have an option where you can pay for a cloud service whereas everything recorded with this camera is uploaded to your cloud account where you could always have the footage for as long as you want so that's something to think about I don't do it because I think this is just a deterrent as it is and I'll have recorded, you know, package uh, porch pirates who steal your packages, whatever. Um, it's great for monitoring who's at the door and sometimes let's say you're taking a dump in the bathroom or something like that and a UPS guy comes and he's asking you questions or whatever. You can answer him right from the toilet. <laughs> so that's it. This is my Heim Vision Greets C1 Smart Video Doorbell. We installed it in about... 10 or 15 minutes, and it interfaced with the uh, iPhone very easily. Um, it is waterproof because it's meant for outdoors. It's got night vision and motion detection. This sells for $79.99 on Amazon.com. I'll leave the link to the description below. So if you guys are interested in it, make sure you check out that link. Anyway, it's a very good doorbell. Looks aesthetically pleasing. Uh, especially if you have white trim. I actually wish I had the white one instead of the gray one that I have at home. But uh, I'm glad that Andy uh, from Jericho likes it very much. I love it. He's going to do a couple of, you know, modifications so that the, his door closes properly. But make sure that you have space in between your uh, fascia and your door sill and your door to make it fit. Because it is considerably wide. Probably about two inches or so. So... He's going to do some modifications to it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Mowers and Blowers. Hey guys, Boba and I want to thank you for all the support of Mowers and Blowers. If you'd like, make a short video clip like these. And I'll put it as an outro in my future videos. Henry, I gotta go. I'll see you next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey! If you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers really appreciate all the support also to keep the videos coming every day support the channel bye <laughs>